Hey everybody, today I'm going to be comparing two glass bottles of water from Whole Foods. First up is Starkey Spring Water. Second up is Whole Foods brand Italian Still Mineral Water. The Whole Foods brand is about twice as big. It holds about twice as much water. The Whole Foods brand, even though it's bigger though, it actually costs less. The Whole Foods brand is $1.50, the Starkey brand is two dollars. The uh, Starkey brand is from a geothermal hot, sp hot spring. It's from Council, Idaho, and it says that it's from a spring that is two miles deep, and it's from a single source made by Mother Nature. The Whole Foods Italian Still Mineral Water says it's from Tuscan Emilian Apollian Mountains. I'm sure I pronounced that wrong, but it's from from Italy, from Tus Tuscany, from Tuscan Mountains. Um, an interesting about thing about this is that if you look carefully, I'm not sure if you can see this in the video, but the label is actually crooked. <laughs> I thought that was just an interesting thing. Um, so maybe it's maybe it's stuck on there by a human instead of a machine, but I just. I don't know, I've never seen that before. It's, it's obviously a mistake. It's like, it's not level. It's slightly crooked. But it doesn't look like it's on purpose. And uh, another interesting thing is, it says it's vegan. I just think that's funny. Like, it's, it's water. It's obviously vegan. <coughs> uh, both of the waters say they have sodium in them, which is a bad thing, in my opinion. The Whole Foods brand says it has... 10 milligrams, and the Starkey brand says it has 95 parts per million. The Starkey brand also says it has 60 parts per million of bicarbonate, also silica and sulfate and other dissolved solids. So I'm just pointing that out. The Starkey website, they describe it as being the spring has a long history, having been the first having first been discovered by Native Americans in the 1800s. Settlers sought its mineral-rich healing waters on horseback from neighboring counties, or by rail cars by the hundreds, but, uh, from hundreds of miles away. The spring bears the name of Dr. Richard Starkey, M.D., who set about turning it into a true health and pleasure resort in the early 1900s. It has been under private ownership until 2013 when Starkey Springs Company emerged uh, bringing the goodness and the wonderful gift to you. And it says the geology of Starkey Springs is when you take a sip you're enjoying water that fell as rain or snow in the surrounding mountains more than 11,000 years ago. From there it slowly made its way into the earth penetrating uh, the volcanic formation more than 2.5 million years ago. There the water stayed two miles deep, gently working its way through the rock around it. Over thousands of years, heat and pressure forces its way back through the cracks, and um, it's been untouched by surface contamination. Starkey Springs water emerges in our spring house, pure lightly mineralized and silky smooth. Okay, now let's just talk about the labels themselves. Uh, they're both nice. I personally think the Starkey Springs one is a little bit nicer though. This is kind of like a wine bottle. This is like um, like a like an old fashioned like soda bottle kind of. Just like the the way the the font is, and I just think this is a little bit nicer. And uh, like I said, they're both glass. They both have metal lids so let's just open them up and taste them and even though I'm talking about the design and, and all the history and stuff uh, the most important thing that we're going to be judging them on is the taste so here we go Um, 
the I should mention the um the mouths and the lids are just exactly the same. They're completely identical. Okay, this one's the winner. This one's better. Um, this one, I just want to, I want to drink this whole thing right now. Just simply tastes better. Um, it's hard to describe, but it's just better water. This is a glass bottle, but it kind of has like a taste of like metal to it for some reason. Um, it's kind of weird. Like it's like the instant it hits, hits your tongue, you can taste like um almost like a like aluminum for some reason. It's weird. And normally I wait till the end of the video to say which one's the winner, but Starkey is the winner for sure. Yeah. And Starkey, I'm drinking it, I'm like, this is enjoyable. This is like I want I want more of this. This is a really pure taste. With the whole foods Italian still, I hate to say it, but it's like a like almost like a chore to drink this. Sometimes I do these videos, and I compare two bottles, and um, sometimes it's really close, but <laughs> this is not uh, not even that close of a comparison. Wow, it's really good. Really good water. I mean, this this is definitely moving on to the, to the um, next round, for sure. But I'm, I'm just making a prediction now. This might make it even to the finals. This is really good. This is really, really good water. All right, Whole Foods, you're done. I kind of saved the last sip of Starkey for the end, just to make sure I would, I would wash out the, the taste of the uh, Whole Foods Italian still water. So, there you go. Starkey water, you're moving on to the next round. And Whole Foods water, you are out.